Welcome everyone, it's Ghost Tash here. Today, we're gonna change the thermal pads and thermal paste on these uh, Aorus RX 570s. I've done it to a couple of them already. Uh, these two here already had their thermal pads and thermal paste replaced. Uh, these are fairly new guys, so uh, some of these I just put right, right into the rig and haven't changed any of the uh pads or paste yet but um i recommend if you buy a used gpu change the thermal pad and thermal paste uh immediately as soon as you get it you should open it up clean it out clean the inside out uh, replace the pads and and paste um i'll go over what you're going to need and all that stuff uh here shortly guys thank you for watching
guys so you saw me in fast motion change the thermal pads on the RX 570s this is an old two gigabyte card I had laying around I just wanted to kind of give you guys an explanation of what I did quick overview so basically the thermal pads uh, I placed them over any chip that would make contact with this heat, heat sink here so you know cover just basically what it does is uh, the thermal paste conducts heat and allows for the board to uh, release some of that heat so that your chips don't get fried so anyway guys when you're changing the thermal pads you want to make sure you cover all of these chips um, size of the thermal pad matters um, I had three different types of thermal pads yeah um, typically come in 0.5 millimeters uh, one millimeter, 1 1.5 millimeter, and every 0.5 uh, 
up to three or four. Um, you want to make sure you get the right size thermal pad for your graphic card. I've made the mistake of putting one that's too thick or too thin and what it does is it either makes your uh, heat sink not make contact with the chip if it's too thick or if it's too thin it doesn't provide enough uh, uh, heat conductivity to uh, uh, function properly it therefore creates overheating. Uh, issues and you know, that that's exactly why we put thermal pads on it we're trying to avoid that guys anyway guys i wanted to explain to you give you guys a quick uh explanation one last thing i forgot to mention the thermal paste you don't want to saturate it you want a, a little dial up here in the middle you, they they have spreader tools that you can spread them pretty evenly but if you do if you put a solid little dial up right in the middle and smush it that should be sufficient to cover the entire chip when you screw the uh heat sink back into the uh the actual board anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching if you find uh, value in these videos please like and subscribe We'll see you soon. Peace.